Hey guys, G2P Angler here. Uh, we are in Hawaii, the big island, out here outside the coast of Kona. Um, we've had a wonderful week here. It's, uh, we had hoped to come out here and catch a blue marlin. Went out yesterday. No bites. We've had a great time. So we've done some cool nighttime manta ray snorkeling. Uh, snorkeling all over. It's a beautiful coast. World class destination. And um, played some golf. What else did we do? It's some waterfall hikes, volcano hikes, lava lake hikes. So we're gonna put together like a short video for you guys. It's gonna be minimal fishing because we didn't catch anything. We swung for the fences and we struck out with uh, no bites for blue marlin fishing. But it's been a great time with the family. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Jason Reese, we are out here off of Kona, Hawaii, the big island. We are going to do a little bit of manta ray snorkeling tonight off here with the Kona Ocean Adventure. Super friendly crew, everyone's, everyone's been great so far, so we've already seen some manta rays. We're super excited. We have a parker with us tonight, so we're going to be just doing um, a little bit of snorkeling. So no diving tonight, just nice and calm, hanging out and enjoying the mantas. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. That's amazing. Wow. Get the Get the Come 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 Got it, okay. Alright, here we go. Me and my new friend Self. Let's do it. Don't go around. Okay. Get rid of that. Self, I'm feeling good. Everyone having a good time. Yeah. yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Dope. How awesome is this, right? <laughs> it's so cool. Hey guys, this has been about one of the coolest experiences of my life. Just a bunch of giant manta rays down here. Just right underneath, coming right up to us, almost rubbing their bodies right up on us. The coolest experience out here. We're loving it. Uh, that's what it looks like out here, guys. Just, you know, a surfboard with a bunch of lights on it. Manta rays, totally incredible. Surpassed all of my expectations. What an experience. Got to share it with my son and my wife. And the good folks here at Kona Ocean Adventures. Kona Ocean Adventures. If you're going to come out here to Hawaii and do this manta experience, which I highly recommend, this is the outfit to choose. The lagoon and the surrounding rocky beach area at the resort looked amazing for snorkeling. We were able to see all these cool creatures right from the beach and right from the little rocky outcropping. So we decided to grab our snorkel gear and jump on in. One day while I was out golfing, Parker and Laura did their own little snorkeling excursion here in this cool little bay. And while the family was snorkeling, I was getting to enjoy the Muwanalani Ocean Course. So this is the 15th hole. This stunning beauty. And like many of my drives that day, that one also did not find the fairway. Blame it on the rental clubs. Still an amazing day out there. Oh boy. 
it's good. Right, if I'm ever gonna get a hole in one, this is the place. Bucket list destination, a bucket list golf course, no bucket list hole in one, but a beautiful day. Enough with the golf. So the next day we left the arid Kona side of the island and went over to the tropical rainforest side of Hilo to do some waterfall hiking including Akaka Falls like you see here and a couple of others and check out some of the you know volcanic uh, national park, lava tubes and just seeing some of the other stuff around the island. It was tough to cram all into one day I don't think we even saw half of it. Excited? Again. So after checking out the lava tube twice per Parker's request, we uh, hiked a couple of miles down to check out the lava lake. It's pretty surreal. Okay. Yep, there's no other way to make a trail on a lava lake. Well, we did not make it out fishing today. Uh, charter got canceled because of the uh, wind was howling down south and creating some bigger waves. So tomorrow's our last day. We booked a new charter. We're gonna give it one more shot, try to go out there and catch a blue marlin or really any marlins. I've never caught one. So we're gonna give it our best shot tomorrow. But meanwhile, we're enjoying this for one of our last few nights. Parker and I are out here at the tide pools, soaking in everything the big island has to offer. Parker's really been enjoying exploring all the tide pools around here. We have sandy beaches in South Florida, so we don't get these cool rocky tide pools to explore. It's been a lot of fun the last couple of days. He's going on land! Never seen an eel do that before. How cool is this that? Eel. It's a sp <laughs> that, that eel is native to Florida too. That I've never seen an eel go out of water like that. I guess they're used to navigating these tide pools. That was really cool. And there's a lot of tide pools along the coast here. Bridge. <laughs> Yeah, it's not used to seeing. 
eels on land. Actually, that's a type of eel in Florida. It's just rarer. It lives on like the Keys in Florida. Parker's been very excited about all the tide pools and honestly like the younger kid. I mean, we're seeing like Moorish idols and all kinds of tangs and butterfly fish. He loves to come in here look for eels. We've been, including these eels that go up on land, it's been uh, his highlight out of all things we've done here has been to come out here a couple times a day and explore all of these tide pools. It's actually been been fun for me too. There's a childlike wonder going on out here. Got a green sea turtle enjoying his day here, relaxing on the beach. I was beyond ecstatic to go out on this gorgeous boat with a great captain and a great first mate uh, with a history of winning blue marlin tournaments down there to take my shot at catching a bucket list fish. I normally would not post a video of a fish uh, not being caught, so full disclaimer, we didn't get any bites on here, but I think it's still worth sharing a couple of the highlights of this gorgeous boat and a, a fun experience in a different way of doing fishing, a lot different than we do in Southeast Florida, so hope you enjoy. G2P angler Jason Reese here, and you can tell we are not in Southeast Florida today. So I'm out here, Kona, Hawaii, Big Island, uh, fishing on a 56 foot Ricky Scarborough, hoping to go chase my green fish, a blue marlin. So um, heading out nice and early, trying to get out there. We've got no plan B. We're not trying to bring home meat. We're literally just trying to catch a dream fish. And uh, see what we can get into. The cool thing about Kona is that um, you're fishing, almost like Southeast Florida, where you come out of the inlet, you're in deep water, but instead of being in 300 feet, you're in 3,000 feet. So, uh, super cool underwater topography here to fish. Um, I'm lucky to be out here with a couple of knowledgeable guys between Captain Jason and First Mate Chris. We have our 50 years experience here. They're the experts. I'm, I'm out here with, with no ego, taking advantage of their expertise and uh, just trying to get tight on AL Marlin today. We're gonna go and drag these baits for as long as we uh, as long as we need to. Hopefully, need to get a bite. We don't have a plan B. We're gonna go big or go home out here. Get on it, and you'll see it. Now he's he's tilting the, the transducer to try to find exactly where it is in the water column. There it is again, right there, right in front of the boat. Wow. So now he'll try to line it up. This is us. He'll try to line it up so it comes right down the middle. And then from there, we'll look at the sounder and see if it comes right under the boat. of the island the last couple of days, but when you see it from the water and you see how actually like long it is compared to what you see past the airport, you realize how giant the big island is here in uh, Hawaii. Big enough that all the other Hawaiian islands would fit inside it and then some, but really don't know until you get here the scale of how big it is and really like not very built out. It's a, you know, kind of a nature of wildlife lover's paradise. You got 15 different biomes and very little build out. It's really, really a gorgeous island to come, come enjoy. So even with a world-class boat and a world-class captain and mate, we uh, didn't get any bites. Pretty, pretty amazing day. Still couldn't help myself but stare at the lines all day even though I had no, uh, no control over where we were going. And I, I do believe that this is the right boat and the right team to put you on the Blue Marlin down in Kona. Um, I think we're going in April and it was a 50-50 shot or so whether we get a bite or not and we, um, we, we didn't get one. No, no regrets, great day, great crew, day with my son on the water and couldn't ask for better weather or better views. We saw different types of whales and just really enjoyed the day. And from here we'd have one last luau and it would be heading back to the mainland.
our time in Hawaii came to an end. We had a great week, made some great memories, had some fun adventures, and looking forward to the next one. I know this wasn't a fishing video. If you guys do or don't like this kind of content and these other salty adventures being added to the channel, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.